Hi friends, Father Reese here. This Sunday is the fifth Sunday of Lent. In the Gospel we come across the resurrection of Lazarus, where Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. I'm sure for many of us we've come across it many times. I'd like for us to reflect on firstly, as we come across it again, that when Jesus comes across Mary, Martha, the mourners, that St John puts it in the Gospel that Jesus wept. Why is it? Well, we know Jesus is truly human and truly divine, and in his humanity he wept. Now, of course, we are also human, and so we feel the same thing that, that Jesus feels when we lose a loved one. And here's the underlying principle. This is why Jesus wept. This is why we, or as part of why Jesus wept, this is why we feel it as well. We are communal by nature. Our nature is one of a communal type. We desire friendship. We desire permanent friendship. And so what is death? Death is that like that cessation, that breaking of friendship, that, that you know, we say, oh, they've passed on, they've passed away, they've moved on. You know, it's, well, that they've died and now one whom we've loved, we've ate with, maybe we've drank with, we've worked with, we've laughed with, we've sh shared our, our life with, or the the done so much for us now, death has brought cessation to that, a cessation of community, and that's that thing we all desire. We desire community and permanent community. Now, in these times, you know, we've got lots of things happening, uh, financial stresses, yeah, big, big ones. Um, you know, health stresses for a lot of people, yeah, big, big health stresses, and, uh, and not going to downplay them. But also, of course, the social distancing thing is like, yeah, there's communal communal starvation deprivation going on and you know for a good reason it's only temporary but but here, here's the point friends every time now we we feel a bit lonely or, or maybe there's some of us who don't have many people around us might feel a bit more we're feeling the communal pinch the communal the diminished communal life let us remind ourselves that we are part of a supernatural community that is what's that was the communion of saints. What is a communion of saints? The communion of saints is a church. Now through baptism and the participation in the life of grace, we are part of that community. And so no matter where we find ourselves or how separated, or when every time we feel that, that pinch or we're missing out on something which could have been, which isn't now, let us remind ourselves of the communion of saints which we participate in through baptism and through grace. And then through our, we can lift up our hearts, we can turn to prayer, turn towards Jesus, who is the head of the church, who is the, the most important person in the communion of saints, and we can pray to him and to the saints and join in in a supernatural commun community, a supernatural life, a supernatural way, just when this natural life is being diminished. You know, once, once a young lady, I was kind of giving a, a talk similar to on the communion of saints and on, on the great community we have through baptism and through grace. She came up to me after the talk and goes, and she's just from Canada, she goes, you know, Father, is, is that a bit like the uh, cross of Jesus? Because through all the vertical cross, we have communion with God and the horizontal cross, we have communion with one another. And I had to think about it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Great analogy. And so, my friends, once again, let us, in times of isolation and and loneliness or social deprivation turn towards the great supernatural friendship the communion of saints jesus and all those who participate in a life of grace